Namaste Soul Siblings, glorious morning, super happy day. We start our practice today called BAM Yoga, breathing, asana and meditation. I love this practice. Yoga has brought so many magnificent, miraculous blessings into my life. So I love to share it and this practice in particular uh, is a mix of different um, practices of the science of yoga. So we integrate breathing, postures, meditation, about 20 minutes each. If you don't have the full hour to do the whole class, just do the amount that you have, the amount of time that you have available. The shortest practice is only six minutes and any time that you dedicate to making soul connection is beneficial. Hi Nick. <laughs> so nice to see you. So <clears throat> any time that you have available for practice is beneficial so don't shy away from practicing today because you have only a short time available um, and it is not so much about how long do we practice but with what purity do we come to our mat to make soul connection that's what makes most of the difference so aim to and not only move your body, do the breath, follow the instructions during the practice, but look internally and seek to make soul connection, to step out from your head, to open your heart and engage with life from a different place inside of you. Beautiful. Let's get started with our first practice, which is called Life Appreciation. So this is a breathing practice and we breathe using more of our lung capacity than we are used to in our day to day. So we take rich inhales and we give out generous exhales. And we breathe in celebration mode. Life is awesome, life is beautiful, so we celebrate being alive. Hello, so nice to see you. Thank you for joining from Europe. <laughs> so nice. So this is life appreciation practice and we start Magali. Yes, I was trying to remember because your name doesn't show up there. Magali, thank you so much for joining. So nice to see you. So life appreciation practice. We are breathing, taking rich inhales and giving out generous exhales. And we connect with three levels of life appreciation. The life that God created, the life that you create for yourself, and the life that you are. You are life living. Every organ inside your system is alive. So we breathe, blessing our every organ with a lot of life force energy. We breathe also in celebration for each one of our organs, atom cells to do their job perfectly, for us to enjoy life in the way that we do. <sighs> During this practice, which is also six minutes long, remember that your lungs go from the base of your ribs all the way up to your collarbones. Usually we are breathing using, let's say about 20, 25% of the full lung capacity. But in this practice, we aim to use our full, no, more of our lung capacity. The next one, we go to the full lung capacity. So inhale richly, exhale freely. If you are outdoors as I am, connect with all the forms of life that God created. God is expressing itself in everything that you see. Different forms, shapes, colors, sizes. If you are indoors, look out your window and do the same. Connect with the forms of nature. God expressing itself in so many different ways, making this plane of planet Earth so beautiful, so magnificent, a home for us to experience this journey we call life. <sighs> Breathing celebration. I also want to celebrate this very moment this beautiful weather we're enjoying in Miami. Sun, sun is blue, the sky is blue, the sun is shining, the temperature is so nice. Thank you, thank you life for the whole of life. For the darkness and the light, 
for the good things, the bad things, the challenges, because it is in face of our challenges that we can experience and know our greatness. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all the challenges in life. In face of challenges, we remember we are godly beings, so we call upon our soul to come, help us, guide us, inspire us to take on these things we call challenges, problems, difficulties, struggles, disease. Anything in life can find healing from within. This is what the soul is inviting us to do, to, so that we can live in harmony. Also take the opportunity to look about you because there is not only God made things, there is also man made things and from the two you have made selections to bring into your life. So appreciate your choices and the life that you have chosen to create for yourself. Look at the clothes you wear, the house you live in, the car you drive, the people that you choose to surround yourself by. Appreciate your opportunities and also appreciate all the things that are present in your life that you don't want anymore. Because you can tell them today, at this very moment actually, bye bye, thank you for having come and now I let you go and I replace you for something new. Not because of resistance or badness, not wanting in a bad way to have that thing in your life or whatnot. But without resistance or fight, without war, we let go peacefully. Things come, things go, and we know that is the flow of life and we celebrate it. We can generate change, we can make new choices and we embrace that freedom, breathing in richly, giving thanks with an exhale out generously. <sighs> thank you life for the whole of life. I thank myself for taking this time to practice. It is very different, my day at least, when I start engaging with appreciation and joy than when I take on my day automatically. Sometimes when I wake up, the energies are not necessarily what I, what I would love them to be. So then we transmute those energies. Why take on the rest of the day with down spiraling energies? It doesn't serve us. Very good. Let's move on to the second section of the practice. This one is called focus breathing. So we are going to use the full capacity of our lungs. Before we were using more of the lung capacity, now we go to the full lung capacity. On the next practice, we will continue to use this breathing technique, Ujjayi breath, but we will add movement. So little by little, we make the practice grow. All right? Beautiful. Seal your lips, close your eyes and open your heart. Begin to exhale through your nose, blowing all the air out of your lungs. Blow, 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 blow. Make sure your lungs are empty. And then softly allow your exhale to become inhale. Begin to draw air into your lungs and fill them up to the top. For this practice, you have to stay <coughs> aware and present, watching the flow of your breath. And particularly, you will have to teach yourself to find perfect comfort in breathing more slow and also using the full capacity of your lungs. This is not how we breathe automatically, so it won't come to you naturally. You will have to use your free will and willpower to keep breathing in this way. But very soon you will notice the effects of the breath in your system. So stay with it. Exhale until your lungs are empty. Inhale until you fill them up and all along pace yourself. Breathe slowly and deeply. We know that breathing is essential to life. We can go without sleeping, eating, drinking, even going to the bathroom for a few days. But even with training, we can go for a few moments only, a few minutes, without breathing. 
Breathing is key to the survival of the body. So, breathe with intention to nurture your every atom, cell, molecule, organ, system, with life force energy, with divine love, with sweet living. We are choosing to break the automatic in our lives and to engage with it consciously. And the first aspect where to we bring consciousness, awareness and presence is our breath. Remember that for this breathing technique we create a sound at the back of the throat. It doesn't come from the nose, it comes through the nose but is produced at the back of the throat. We use this sound to keep the mind present and to gauge how the insights are performing at this very moment. When you perceive energies inside that you don't want to hold on for the rest of the day, choose to transmute them. Exhale them consciously and consciously also choose to inhale a new form of energy that will serve you better. I bring the microphone close to my face so that you may hear the sound of the breath and if I am breathing too fast or too slow for you, please find your own pace <coughs> and make sure you're feeling completely comfortable. Very soon in this practice the energy of resistance pops up telling you I don't have to breathe like this why do I have to do it in this way I'm not used to this let me breathe shorter transcend the automatic choose consciously breathe slowly using your intention to direct your breathing into your every atom nurturing every building block in your system with divine life force energy Sometimes the mind gets overactive and begins to create distraction trying to push us away from the practice but we tell it that we are using this time not as a waste but instead as an empowering time. As we breathe deep and slow and as we watch the breath we are slowing the activity of the mind. Therefore we gain more clarity and with this also we are creating integration between our five bodies which are usually scattered the physical body is in one place but with the mind we are somewhere else with the emotions in another place and with the energy and spirit we don't even know what do we do or where do we go mind and emotion are not limited by time and space and energy and spirit can transcend many dimensions the physical body is always in the now but in this way we are all scattered all the time. When we scatter we feel smaller than life and that creates stress, contraction, anxiety, fear, self-doubt. So use this time to stay present with the flow of your breath because it is creating integration. It is bringing your five bodies together so that you may feel whole at a hundred percent to welcome life. Life cap comes to you at a hundred percent too. So if you meet it at your 100%, you feel equal to life. It is no longer overwhelming. This is a very easy and practical way to find equanimity in face of life, peace, joy. Use it. Remember it throughout the day, not only in this moment of practice while I speak, but carry this knowledge with you and use it in your life. Activate it. Beautiful. Let's move on now to the third section of our breathing practice. Therapeutas. Thank you so much for joining. So the third section of the practice is called focus breathing paired with movement. 
So we are going to keep using the same breathing technique, using the full capacity of the lungs, but now we add movement. And we prioritize the breath, having the body follow. Usually in our day to day, we are doing it the other way around. We prioritize the movement, the doing, and when we are excited or whatever, we hold on to the breath, creating tension inside, stress, blocking the mind from creativity and inspiration. That doesn't serve us. That makes our life more difficult. So if we want to find an, easy, an easier flow through life, let's use the breath. Breathe richly. Have the body follow your, the pace of your breath and breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Good. Beautiful. Let's start now with the palms together in front of the heart and exhale, blowing all the air out. As you begin to inhale, bring the arms up, reach up high, lengthen the arms and the spine. Exhaling, arms down. Inhale up. We move slowly. We breathe richly. And as we move, we also bring awareness to the fact that we are actually able to move not only our joints, our limbs, <clears throat> but ourselves also through life. This brings us tremendous freedom to acknowledge, accept, and activate this knowledge in our lives. Exhaling, lean to the side. Because sometimes we're, we find ourselves in one position, in one place, in a circumstance, and we feel that we are doomed to stay there. But no, we are mobile. We are creative and we are free. So we can take ourselves to a different place, position or situation. And that is a freedom, a beauty in life. So celebrate your ability to move your joints as well as your whole self through life. Inhale, come up. Next exhale, lean forward. Start there. Inhale, come up. Next exhale, go forward and go slightly deeper. Relax your hips. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean forward, go deeper. Every exhale, we go slightly deeper. Otherwise, we stay stagnant, always in the same place. Exhale, lean forward, go yet deeper. Inhale up. Exhale, bring the hands down behind your back. Fingers point forward, feet flat in front of you, inhaling, hips up, head back. Stretch, feel good, breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Exhaling, come down, move with your breath, prioritize the breathing and let your body follow slowly, lovingly, present. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale. Open the heart freely. Exhale down. Turn over to your knees and hands. Hands are shoulder width apart. Knees are hip width. Inhaling. Arch your back. Look towards your belly button. Exhaling. Belly button down. Look forward and up. Curve your spine. We're stimulating the spinal cord now. Move with your breath. Breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Soft, gentle movements. Deep breathing. Bring your spine to neutral, shift the left hand to the center. Next inhale, right arm up, look up and twist. Reach up high, heart open. Exhale down. Inhale, other side. Twist, 
feel your body don't just move but feel inside what is your body telling you the body speaks through sensation feeling emotion so pay attention drive your attention inwards and begin to learn the language of your body internally exhale one more time on the other side to keep it even inhaling all the way up exhale down both hands in front of you shift your hips back forehead down child's pose this is a hip opener so relax your hips inhaling coming up to knees and hands exhaling back child's pose inhale exhale anytime you like to rest through the rest of the practice you can come to child's pose inhale come up and now extend your legs behind you lift the heart look up this is cobra roll the shoulders back exhaling child's pose inhale cobra feel good breathing deeply and moving slowly exhale child's pose inhale cobra one more time and now with your next exhale hips up in the air extend the arms and the legs downward facing dog with your next inhale look forward feet between the hands exhale head down legs straight next inhale come up arms up look up exhale arms down by your sides beautiful next will be the asana section of our practice we finish with the breathing now we move on to the asana part beautiful so if you don't know the sequence don't worry just take the same approach we were using before use the full capacity of your lungs as you breathe prioritize the breathing have the body following the sequence and as i said if you don't know the sequence don't worry i will be guiding you so prioritize the breath and have the body follow it beautiful feet together arms down begin to exhale blowing all the air out of the lungs inhale bring the arms up move your body at the rhythm of your breath exhaling lean forward reach for your toes or your mat keep the legs straight inhale look up exhale hands down feet back slowly bend the elbows and come down to the bottom of the push-up if you need to rest your knees down do that inhale up cobra move slowly breathe deeply exhale hips up in the air downward dog we hold downward dog for five breaths but if you need to take a break please remember child's pose is there for you whether you go to child's pose or hold downward dog the breath remains the same you're using the full capacity of your lungs next inhale look forward feet between the hands exhale head down leg straight go deeper than before and with your inhale come up exhale arms down one more time sun salutation a there was a rock down there inhale arms up exhale lean forward legs straight feel the pulling on the muscles of the back of your legs inhale look up exhale hands down feet back bottom of the push-up elbows close to the ribs inhale lift your heart in cobra exhale hips up in the air downward dog five breaths here keep your posture active keep your mind present keep your breath flowing freely to keep the posture active bend one knee then the other twisting your hips pre pressing your heels towards the mat and the heart towards the toes 
Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. Awesome. Sun salutation B. Bend the knees, inhaling, bring your arms up, chair pose. Exhaling, legs straight, reach for your toes or your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chaturanga, slowly, elbows close to the ribs. Cobra inhaling. Downward dog exhaling. Next inhale, left foot forward. Arms up, warrior one. Hold on to warrior one. Breathing using the full capacity of your lungs. Choose to stand firmly in face of life. If you feel your stance is flimsy, see that your feet are separated enough. If your feet are crossed over, you will have difficulty keeping your balance. On the next exhale, hands down, foot back, bottom of the push-up. Cobra inhaling. Downward dog exhaling. From downward dog, next inhale, right foot forward, bring the arms up, warrior one. So this is what I meant before. Look at my feet, back foot here, front foot here. If they are crossed like this, I will have a lot of difficulty keeping my balance. So separate your feet so that you have a wide stance and you can stand firmly. Sometimes it only takes a variation so simple like that to feel that we are rooted firmly in life. This is what we're practicing here on our mat. Next exhale, hands to the front, foot back. Bottom of the push-up. Cobra inhale. Downward dog exhaling. Five breaths. Breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Bend your knees and press your heart towards them, lengthening the arms, the spine. Then press your heels towards the mat, extending the legs and pushing your body back. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Inhaling, chair pose, knees bent, arms up. Exhale, arms down, legs straight. Beautiful. One more time. Sun salutation B. Bend the knees, arms up, inhaling. With the exhale, lean forward, reach for your toes or your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, feet back. Bottom of the push-up. Cobra inhaling. Downward dog exhaling. Next inhale, foot forward, arms up, warrior one. See your stance. Next exhale, warrior two. So for warrior two, we only open the arms, bringing them down parallel to the ground and we rotate the hips to the side. Many people from warrior one to go to warrior two, they change the feet, they look back, they look forward, they open the arms. It is very simple. From here, we open, we rotate the hips, but the feet remain in place. The knee remains in place. Inhale deep. With your exhale, hands to the front, foot back, bottom of the push-up. Cobra inhaling. Downward dog exhaling. Inhaling, foot forward, arms up, warrior one, other side. Exhaling, warrior two, remember the feet remain in place, rotate your hips, arms open parallel to the ground. Exhaling, hands to the front, foot back, bottom of the push-up. Cobra with your inhale. 
downward dog the exhale five breaths if you like to take a break please go to child's pose this is it you can keep your arms in front of you or have them reach back the forehead rest down ribs rest between your thighs if you are in downward dog bend one knee and the other twist your hips keep it active stretch your body breathe richly whether you are on downward dog or child's pose the breath remains the same next inhale look forward feet between the hands exhale head down leg straight bend the knees come up inhaling chair pose exhaling tadasana beautiful now let's go for balancing postures and today let's start with warrior three very easy will we enter into warrior three usually during the sun salutations we're going warrior one warrior two reverse warrior sometimes today we add warrior three warrior three is a balancing posture so we are going to stand on one foot first resolve to keep your breath flowing instead of holding onto the air to be able to stand on one foot stand on one foot but having your breath flowing that is the equanimity that we're seeking to find instead of creating stress because life is making us feel that we are walking on a wire we walk through the wire completely confident that is perfectly possible this is what we're practicing here so Bring your palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, lift the heart, look up. Exhaling, lean forward. We are going to aim to bring the spine parallel to the ground. And as we're leaning forward, the one foot comes off the ground, reaching back. Even if I am here, I am already standing on one foot. So that's fine. But over time, we're looking to bring the spine parallel to the ground and the leg also wherever you are today is perfectly okay embrace your present position acknowledge your future your future position and lovingly take yourself from where you are to where you want to be options you can open the arms to the side they call this airplane pose or you can bring them forward breathe freely With your exhale, slowly bring the arms down, the foot down, then inhaling, come up and shake. Awesome. Let's do the other side. I'll turn around. Hands in prayer. Inhale, lift your heart. Look up. Exhaling, lean forward. And as you're leaning, the foot comes off the ground, reaching back. Even if it's only there, you are already standing on one foot. So that is perfectly fine. Don't fight yourself. Take yourself to your destinations lovingly, sweetly. This is what we're practicing here on the mat. Sometimes we kill ourselves to get to where we want to go or to have what we want. Next exhale, slowly lower your foot the arms then inhaling torso up shake it off awesome <clears throat> one more balancing posture how about that let's do three pose today so left heel to right ankle hands in prayer both feet on the ground once again core um, merge with your breath breathe using the full capacity of your lungs and resolve that whether you fall off the posture or not, your breath will continue to flow gracefully. As you feel ready, left foot off the ground, climbing on the right leg, anywhere below or above the knee. Open the knee wide to the side. Optional, you can do your variations, opening your branches to life. Keep breathing. Some people prioritize doing the posture and they forget the breath. That is not yoga. That could be acrobatics, circus stuff. For yoga, we 
prioritize the breathing and we have the body follow. Even if you fall off the posture, the breath keeps flowing. Don't generate tension inside. Good. Shake it off as you feel ready and then let's do the other side. Right heel to left ankle, hands in prayer. Resolve that you will hold on to your breath even if you fall off the posture. Have your foot climb on your leg, anywhere below or, below or above the knee. Do your variations. For a deeper challenge, you can look up. You can also close your eyes. Don't fight yourself, prioritize the breathing. Find your balance, your centeredness, your equanimity through your breath. Don't fight your mind, don't fight yourself. If you want peace in your life, fighting won't bring it to you. It will bring the opposite. Liberate and shake. Awesome. I'm so happy to be sharing practice with you today. Every day is beautiful to practice and to share it brings a lot of joy to my heart. So, next will be shoulder stand. This is an inversion, so you lay on your back. Let me lay sideways. Ladies, if you're in your moon cycle, please do not do shoulder stand today. And usually I am suggesting Viparita Karani, but today we will suggest a different posture if you're in your moon cycle. This alternative is called bridge pose. So, you're laying on your back, feet flat on the ground, knees pointing up, and with an inhale you bring your hips off the ground. You can interlace your fingers underneath, tuck your shoulders under, lift the hips up in the air. Hold it here for about 15 breaths. If this is causing you difficulty, you can use a cushion here on the lower back to help you up. Or you can also bring the arms as I am doing right now. Sometimes the, the back doesn't arch enough, so we cannot get the arms below. So use a pillow and use your um, sustained practice to little by little transform the condition of your body and let it open and open up freely beautiful if you are not in your moon cycle and you're doing shoulder stand with me today legs off the ground hips off the ground torso off the ground hands to the lower back elbows down extend the legs up in the air but if today your body is like this hips low knees bent it's okay don't fight it lovingly instead of fighting lovingly take yourself to <clears throat> little by little one breath at a time bring your hips higher and then your legs higher but certainly choose to embrace where you are today knowing that tomorrow you will cover more ground and you will get farther life is eternal there is no rush Live happily, sweetly, smoothly. Next exhale, lower your feet overhead. Extend the arms. Optional, you can interlace your fingers. Optional, you can bring your fingers to your big toes or your feet. Create more stretching. Separating your feet if you like. The energy of self-doubt, fear, resistance also very easily pops up when we're doing this posture. So if they become present in your practice, you can choose to transmute them. Feet together and with the exhale slowly roll out of the posture. Extending your legs and pointing your feet away from your head. Next will be fish, Matsyasana. Elbows down, palms down, inhaling, lift the heart, tilt the head back. Walk the elbows towards your feet until the crown of the head touches the mat. I bumped my head on a boat the other day and now I can feel it. <laughs> 
So we breathe into that part of the body to make it heal. Breathe into every pain in your body, into every contraction. Liberating, bringing peace and joy, healing. The action of lifting your heart towards the heavens removes the weight of the neck. Breathe freely. Next exhale, release. Chin towards the chest, knees towards the chest and sway softly left and right. Rolling over the one side of the body, eventually coming to sit it as we take a short break right now to give thanks. Cholito, qué bonito verte mi hermano, bendiciones, un abrazo grande desde aquí. A ver si nos vemos pronto. So we take a brief moment now to give thanks. And we thank all the masters, sages, gurus that came before us and left the science and the practice of yoga for us to do today. What a beautiful, fantastic, empowering legacy they left us with. So we appreciate it, we give thanks by saying Parama Rishi Pyo Namaha Parama Rishi Pyo Namaha Acharya Devo Baba Acharya Devo Baba Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Next will be Shavasana Lay on your back Legs extended, separate your feet to the width of your mat. Inhale deep through your nose, filling up the lungs. And then exhale out your mouth, sticking the tongue out, sighing and relaxing your body on the mat. Roll the eyeballs in all directions. Ah. Let your body melt on your mat, making one with it. Full relaxation. Let go of it all. Inhale deep. Exhale long. Ah. One more time, inhale. Ah. Relax your limbs, your whole body. Stick with your breath. Stay in present, aware, awake, even if the body falls asleep. This is not planning ahead time. This is not remembering time. This is being in the now time. There is nowhere to go, nothing to do, except identifying with the watcher. Allow yourself to just be. Be awake, be aware. Be awake, be aware, even if the body falls asleep. This is actually possible. It is indeed how astral traveling happens. Just remain awake and aware even if the body falls asleep. As you feel ready, begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes, your ankles and wrists, your elbows and your knees. Curl the knees into the heart. Sway softly left and right, massaging your back. Grab onto your feet from the outside, from the inside or from the big toes. And let's spend some time in happy baby pose, stretching, extending arms and legs together, one side and the other, being playful. We all enjoy life when we're playing, so let's include the energy of playfulness into our day. Babies are wise, so we follow their guidance and teaching. 
This posture sequence feels so good. And as you feel ready, roll over the side of your body, help yourself up to seat it. And now we move on to the meditation section of our practice. Beautiful. Last section. Love to you all guys. Thank you so much for joining in the practice today. I hope you are feeling as awesome as I am. I love how this practice makes me feel. So now let's move on to the meditation section. Come to seated. You can also kneel, you can also stand. Don't lay because it's easy to fall asleep. And sit in any way that is comfortable for you. Once you're seated, <clears throat> close the eyes, straighten the spine. Gently roll the shoulders back. Usually we are curving or caving the heart like this. So roll the shoulders back, lift your heart slightly. Don't make your body rigid. Firm is enough, rigidity is too much. Remember the inflexible brakes. So we remain fluid and flexible. Firm, but not rigid. Your chin is parallel to the ground. Bring your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Gently, softly touching the roof of the mouth and keeping it still right there. Even though your eyelids are closed, your eyes are pointing in the direction of 45 degrees above the horizon and meeting like in the center, like that. And now bring your body, bring your whole system to stillness. Stillness of the body, stillness of the mind, stillness of the emotions. But how do we achieve that? The body thinks by itself and thoughts appear in my head even when I am not bringing them. What is this? Who's thinking for me? So let's become aware that there are only two types of thoughts in the mind. The thoughts that you bring and the thoughts that come by themselves. For the time of this practice, we release the thoughts that you bring. It is not thinking time, it is being time. So we let go of the thinking. But still we realize thoughts appear in the head. Those may be coming from the collective consciousness. All thoughts available everywhere, cast out by everyone. Different than a radio station that only emits, we have also an antenna inside our head with the pineal and pituitary glands. And they act not only as to emit, cast away our thinking uh, waves, but we are also are capturing, receiving the waves that others are sending out. So it's a dual function for our antenna and we are capturing the thoughts of everyone everywhere from all times thoughts do not expire they travel in the air like radio waves eternally I was watching this show the other day where they said that when we first started casting out radio waves on this planet those waves are still traveling out in the air in the cosmos and they might be just about now reaching the first place where they could be heard so long it takes so vast is this universe and this wave waves of sound of thought i meant keep traveling just like radio waves eternally in the cosmos so choose wisely what you think use your free will to choose what you think about Choose not to think about things you don't want to experience or have or see. Think in your favor. Think of beauty. But for the time being, 
transcend the think and engage in being. Thinking we connect with the mind, being we connect with the soul. But how do I do that? I am so accustomed to thinking and making noise in my head. What does it mean to be quiet in there? Even when I choose to not ca uh, cast out a thought, thoughts still appear in my head. So here I'll invite you to take on the role of the watcher. The watcher is different than the policeman, the law enforcer. Because the law enforcer is watching, but whenever it sees that the law is not being met, there's punishment applied. For this practice, you don't aim to be a policeman. You're not going to punish yourself or anybody. In fact, we are escaping the attitude of punishment as a way to interact healthily with life. So you identify with the watcher instead of the law enforcer. And whatever you see, you just see it. That is watching. The law enforcer is seeing and then casting opinion. This is approved or disproved. This is good, this is bad. <clears throat> this has to be punished, this has to be rewarded. We escape from that attitude, from that approach, and we simply watch in deep appreciation for, what it, for whatever it is that we are watching. Appreciate a different form of life. Appreciate that presence of whatever it is in front of you. For it allows you to meet something different than you in this life. What a beauty. How magnificent. So many available forms of life and we don't have to resist any. And for the time being, we just allow ourselves to identify with the watcher instead of the law enforcer. Don't make of yourself a policeman, policewoman. Just be the watcher. And in watching, learn. Learn about the behavior of your mind, the tendencies of your emotions, how they have been trained to interact automatically with life, and then consciously, through awareness, create the changes that you want. You are a God and God is embodied, so don't take limitation as an acceptable form of interacting with your life. Connect with your soul, bring expansion, bring newness, create miracles, be free. Come to your mat continuously. I am encouraging folks to come to the mat at least once a week for an entire year. I see a lot of people getting into yoga, they are so excited, they practice one month, two months, three months maybe, and then they quit. They keep telling five years after how good was yoga in their life, but they already quit it five years ago and they only practice for three months. It will bring much more benefit to sustain a practice that you can keep for longer time, mixing it with other things that you have in your life but sustaining it in your um, routine for an extended, a more extended period of time. So if you would practice only once a week, for a whole year it will only be 52 classes. That is achievable, that is feasible, and that will definitely help you make soul connection and transform your life. It is not too little because over time, Consistency doesn't fail to shine, so you will definitely see the benefits. Come to your mat, come to this class, practice with me. You can do this practice anytime, anywhere, just as long as you have your cell phone connection, or not even, because you can go to, my, to the link in my Instagram bio, citizen.yoga, Tap on the link and you go to my YouTube channel and there you can even download the videos so that you can see them offline as well. The live recording stays for 24 hours after the practice and then I record a new one the following day. I am here Monday through Friday for the weekends. I upload a video from the week onto my YouTube channel for you to practice Saturday and Sunday so you have seven 24-7 yoga, anytime, anywhere you can practice. Shortest practice, only six minutes. Each section, 20 minutes, full practice, one hour. 
any time that you dedicate to making soul connection is beneficial to you and to the entire universe because you're raising your vibration. Come to your mat regularly. Choose to make soul connection regularly. Aim to activate your soul at will, anytime, anywhere. And for that, practice, practice, practice until you learn it, how to do it, just upon your desire. Now allow yourself to identify with the watcher, let go of the law enforcer. Watch and be, be and watch. Inform yourself, delight yourself, bless yourself. Breathe, be, watch. That's what this time is all about. Breathe, be, watch. As you watch, you will notice that the state of peace inside begins to expand through your body into your mind. Your heart is overflowing with serenity, positivity, peace, joy, inspiration, motivation, gratitude, appreciation. And as you feel ready, open your eyes. Look around you and hold on to the same attitude we were just holding a moment ago with the eyes closed. Instead of looking within, look around. But be the watcher instead of the law enforcer. Watch without having to cast opinion, without having to impose your labels in whatever you're watching. Keep silence within and you will see peace growing inside you. Serenity, equanimity are available anytime, anywhere and this is how you engage them. As you look around you, as you allow your eyes to lay on something, whatever it is, Aim to seek the presence of the Divine in that. God is present everywhere, in everything, including yourself. Look at you. Identify your own divinity. See the presence of that Divine presence inside you. Choose to activate it and express it freely in your day today through your weekend. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining Soul Siblings. I am so happy to see so much of you today in the class. <coughs> and today is Friday, so we are going to be loading the uh, videos from the week for Saturday and Sunday you, for you to practice. Uh, there's a big library already. Uh, we've been going on with this class for about a year, so the library is increasing, is growing, so you have a lot of classes there available. Anytime you like, you can go there and do your practice. Come to your mat often, make soul connection, so that, that it becomes more natural to engage your soul when you are engaging with life. Beautiful soul siblings. Thank you so much. This is Vic, this is BAM Yoga. Please take your, invite your people, loving people in your lives to my Instagram bio so that they can also enjoy this class. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at citizen.yoga. This is it for today. I'm uh, wanting to send you blessings and love and gratitude. Thank you. <laughs> blessings. I don't know what else to say now, but I still like to keep talking and connect with you. Blessings, all siblings. Namaste. Bye-bye.